Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West! Wow! It's been a very long time. Let's actually, let's see. Um... Nuh-uh. Wow. It has been, at, at, at time of recording, it's <laughs> September 2nd. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, it's been just over a month since I've opened this game, and I always get really nervous, honestly, when I, like, not really nervous, I get a little bit nervous when I open this up and start recording again, so forgive me if I'm rusty again. Also, I shouldn't have started talking yet, because now I have to do what I usually have to do, which is go through all of my abilities and things in my tree skills, uh, skill trees, and uh, refamiliarize myself <laughs> with my with what I can do. So, uh, I wish I could be a normal gamer and just get better at the game instead of <laughs> going up and down, up and down, up and down. But uh, yeah, I'll be back after I look at stuff. Oh, real quick, I couldn't decide between Mass Effect and Horizon to play today. And I was looking at, I go to a little soda shop nearby and they had one, I was just scrolling through like the online menu trying to find something I liked. And I found one called Sun Devil that sounded good. It has Coke, like Coca-Cola, <laughs> cinnamon, grenadine, and maraschino cherry uh, flavor in it. I'm one of those people. I'm a hardcore mixed soda lover. But they had to use brown sugar cinnamon today because they were out of regular cinnamon. And I just got to say, it's delicious. Anyway, I decided because I saw that one and it caught my eye and I wanted it, that I'd play Horizon Zero Dawn because of, you know, the Metal Devils from Horizon first game and, and the Sun Worship from the Karja and all. Anyway, <laughs> there we go. That's my whole ADD thought process for the morning. <laughs> Okay, so I think I've <laughs> been in the screen for a while now. Prepared. I think I've remembered things. I just equipped. Um, let's see, oh, I won't show. I won't show you what it is, but I equipped the one, the special R1 ability that I got a while ago that I still haven't used. Um, that has the like area of effect. Is it this one? Yes, this one. Because uh, it'd be cool to use. Uh, I also remembered somehow, I, I, I was logging into this and I was like, I don't remember anything. I don't have time to watch the previous video. Like, besides, I kind of vaguely remember I was just kind of wandering around, like, getting distracted by things. But I do remember that I got this because I want to get this, eventually. Uh, so that I can have a friend that'll distract, maybe distract machines while I run around. I feel like that could backfire big time, honestly. Because <laughs> uh, it could just alert all the enemies. Uh, so maybe it wouldn't be good. Maybe if I get caught, it would be nice to be able to set my machine to, like, you know, aggressive or defensive, if it even works like that. I don't know. Um, but I do also remember vaguely that I really, really, really wanted to get a claw strider and that I've been very distracted. And what in the world am I doing? What am I talking to Zoe at the base? Oh, that's right, because we got the... That's right. See, okay. I... <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> Uh, what's this? Oh, that's the, yeah, pff, pff, piffle. No. Uh, let's go back to base. I'm glad they don't make me fast travel to it, or use a, use a thing, use a camping thingamajig to it. That's really nice. But also, I do want to get, uh, Poseidon. Well, not Poseidon necessarily. I want to go get the breather thing, so Poseidon is our next objective after I finish up some of these man I have so many cool weapons and I want to get so many more though but I'm so broke I'm so broke I have no monies and there's I remember I remember there's so many cool bows like there's the bow I really want that like the regular arrows do extra damage to fire targets like it's like it's got like fire and uh Blah, 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 fire and regular arrows. And so you, like, when, when the target is on, on fire or something, your regular arrows from that bow do more damage to on fire targets. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, anyway. I do also want to get some more face paints, but I, I am very quite fond of this one. 
I didn't even look at my armors. I needed to look at my armors. I looked at my weapons and my skills, but not my armor. The base. Oh my gosh, it's wild to be playing this again. I'm so excited. Yeah, that's the stuff. They're not even studying. What's up, my dude? Aloy, you're back. How are things going around here? I'm still trying to get Beta to talk to me. It's a slow process. Are you okay? This clone thing, it's a lot, even for you. I'm just trying to take it one step at a time. Fair enough. If you need anything, just let me know. Everybody is so nice to her. It's good to see you and Zoe enjoying yourselves. We're learning a lot. I've actually been looking through the data to find ideas for a gift. Aww. And to thank her for helping me study the glyphs. Something from the old world that she's never seen before. Instead, I found out they gave each other stuffed animals. <laughs> if you ask me, stuffing a dead animal with anything, really, doesn't sound like a good time for anybody. Maybe Gaia can help you find something else. Oh my gosh, listen, listen, buddy. You have little dolls, little wooden dolls, like they're little toys. I've seen like little, little woven reed dolls. I've seen them. It's kind of like that. <laughs> How's everyone dealing with Beta? I tried explaining what a clone is to Aaron. He was totally lost. Then Zoe said something about two trees coming from one seed. That seemed to help a bit. Interesting. I see everyone settling in. Zoe's planning on bringing all kinds of plants in here. Says a home should always spring with life anew. I asked Aaron to help find some. I think he'd rather stick his head into a snap <laughs> Still, it's not a bad idea. Should liven up the place. It is a very metal place, so it would be nice to have more. I should get back to the wilds. I'll keep an eye on Beta. Make sure she's comfortable. I am gonna totally forget she's down there very often watch me i'm like oh i should go talk to her and and i'm totally not going to i'm told i'm gonna go talk to zoe and then i'm gonna forget to talk to beta and i'm gonna be really mad at myself i was wondering when you'd be Zoe, back. not zoe i don't know why i keep on her there now that you have those control cores are you ready to reboot the land gods in plain soul not yet gaia told me the reboot code has to be altered using data from the cores she updated my focus with software to accomplish this task but apparently it's very complicated it'll take time well let me know if you need any help i will okay bye i have to go now farewell where did i put my clone i know she's in the basement <laughs> little clone little clone hang on first let me Oh, that's not my. That's not mine. Where's my? Is that, that's not my room over there. Poor Aaron. He's having such a rough time. I'm sure. Is this me? What symbol is this? A chest symbol. That's good. That's what I need. I should maybe sell some of these weapons I have that I'm really not going to use. But... I'm a hoarder. I can't help it, you know? Alright, basement child, where are you? Door's locked. Maybe Gaia will be able to get it open later. Gaia's like, no, you have to progress a certain way. We should really clean this area up. You, are you spying down here? It's you. It's, oh, the, okay, jeez. Hey, me again. Was there something else? So have you been able to make use of your expertise? I guess so. Gaia transferred a lot of data on Hephaestus to study. And? Any insights? 
It looks like it's been modifying its code, increasing in size and complexity over the years. There's a lot to analyze still. Okay, well, keep at it, I guess. Aloy is, actually this is a situation where Aloy's trying to be like nice as awkwardly as she can. Uh, but Beta is kind of like, mm, I don't know about that. But I can't, I can't really blame Beta. She's grown up it, potentially in a worse environment than Aloy. At least Aloy had, you know, her dad figure. Even if he was gruff and, you know, like, expressed his love in a very, like, subtle way, I guess. And like an actions over words kind of guy. Still. So have you been upstairs at all? Not really. Laurel sometimes comes down here to talk keeps asking if I'm okay. I thought he only wanted to know about my productivity, but it's almost like he actually wants to talk to me. Yeah, I think he He's does. the nicest! Out of all of us, he's the nicest! Blah, just don't fall in love with him like I did, because you'll get real sad. <laughs> Have you talked with anyone else in the base? I speak with Gaia. She asked me how I'm feeling, and my opinion on various topics. I didn't expect that from an AI. That's all thanks to Elizabeth. She believed Gaia had to care, not just follow her programming orders. I know. Independent emotional processing enabled the previous version of Gaia to create you, after all. It's true. Yeah. I guess so. I just had a brief fear that everything was not recording properly, but it looks good. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'll be going. Okay. Bye. Aw, we're both learning! We're both learning. We're both learning, Beta. One step at a time. One little baby step at a time. Betas? How, do, they, do they, like, amplify her growth, maybe? Or is she the same age as Aloy? Or a little younger? I don't know. Anyway... What do we do now? <laughs> Who knows? Don't ask me. Oh my gosh, I could talk to Talana and I'm level 26. Oh man, I should. Ugh, I don't want to do side quests right now, really. I want, I want new faces, <laughs> but I don't want to do side quests right now. But I do want to do Talana's. Let's do Talana. Oh, we're not far from her. At all. Perfect. Mm. Yeah, let's go. We'll just fast travel to there, and then we'll run down and see her. This will be cool. This will be super cool. I'm already 20 minutes into the recording. <laughs> I spent so much time just, like, sitting here and looking at things and trying to remember what I'm doing. But Talana's is not really a side. It's like a main side quest, you know? Friendship quests take priority for anything. I did want to help Decca, actually. That one did seem pretty interesting, too. Maybe I will do. Maybe I will do that. Oh, uh, I should just go get my face breather. My face breather. My, my mask. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. There's an X. I was looking at my thumb. Like a fool. All right. Once more, I'm going to edit this out, hopefully, and look at my armor to remember what my armor does. Okie dokie. Okay, ah, but ah, it's so bright. Gliding in. Oh wait, these are. I thought the oh, it's probably still as old. I was like, wait a second, we fought these recently in Horizon Zero Dawn. We did, but they also fought them way back in the day. Obviously, my brain's still. I'm still catching up. Is there? This I feel like there was a thunder jaw near here. I've also been, I've been editing out the running around, and I feel like that's a pretty good idea. Oh wait, hang on, I changed a bunch of... Yes, okay, perfect. This is, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been editing out the running around, just because I don't usually talk much when I'm doing it. But it, I, I don't know, I don't know why I'm asking, but if anybody would like me to leave it in sometimes, just let me know. Cause sometimes I'm like, oh, you don't get to see the. Oh, hey. Oh, I thought that was, I thought that was like a lizard. I was like, whoa. 
Sometimes I feel kind of bad, is what I was trying to say, that, like, uh, you know, you don't get to see me running through the world and watching the landscape change, but... Oh, hey. Could I use that? Oh, man. Is that, like, a weapon I could use on the... The dealy wops that are down here? The enemies? Oh. Is this where I fought the Thunderjaw and I just, like, totally missed these? I think it is. <laughs> Where's the, like, creatures? The machines that are supposed to be nearby. Whatever they're called. The sacks. The ones that have giant sacks on their backs. Fellow back. Oh, by the way, uh, this is a tangent, I guess, but I do, I do own the Horizon Zero Dawn board game. Oh my gosh, the blue. I own the Horizon Zero Dawn board game. And I was uh, finally able to play, because my dad and I both really love board games, and I was able to get him to play with me when I went and visited... Oh, a while back, or like a couple weeks ago, I guess, at this point. Dang it. Um, anyway, because nobody plays with my dad and I. <laughs> like, we're the ones that really like board games. Nobody else does. In our family, really. I mean, they, some of them do. But anyway, while I was there, I got to do that, and it was super fun. Oh, look, they're hunting. Or they're mur murdering everybody. Ooh, shoot. Nice, nice, nice. Anyway, it was actually super fun. But the, kind of the problem is, is it was a Kickstarter-backed one. Uh, that I didn't I didn't back the Kickstarter. Um, I just found it in a board game store, like a board game store. And I was like, wow! I was so excited. Um, so... We... Oh, what? Oh my gosh, you can't just... That was a purple! Why did it disappear? I'm very upset. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I'm so distracted. A black box. Another metal flower that I can't do anything with. Discovered block path. Wow. Anyway, the game was really fun, but the problem, like I said, like it was with it being a Kickstarter one, is that some, and I am kind of an expert at this point in Kickstarter backed uh, games. I got a lot in 20, well, I backed a lot in 2020, and I'm only just now receiving many of them. Um, but it's pretty empty content wise. Like, it, there's one mission, there's like, I mean, like, it's, it's a series of like modular missions that lead up to like the final. Maybe I should check it out. Lead up to the final Some altercation. How'd they end up out here? No. Nope. Anyway, it's only the Thunderjaw. Um, not even the Thunderjaw. What is it? Hang on. I'm so distracted. It is... Nope. The, the thund See, the thing is, is, there's like eight expansions for this game. So the base game lets you fight, I think, a Ravager, actually. It might actually be a Ravager. Yeah. Um, and then there are, like, some of the Shell Walkers, and there's, a, there's some Scrappers, um, the Watchers, and um, the Striders. Uh, but there's only, like, one, like, if I, if I just have the base game... And, like, don't get any of the expansions. I could only ever fight as the end mission a Ravager. Um, which, honestly, maybe my dad and I are playing it wrong. It took us, like, 18 hours to play the game. To, like, figure it all out and play it. It was really, it was really fun, honestly. But, um, we wrecked the thing in, like, three turns. Like, without dying. Without, without having any issues on our end. Um... And then we had some cards that, like, had, like, oh, you need the special ammo. You, you need to have matching ammo to use this weapon or whatever, you know? So we're looking through, and, like, I got this, like, a war bow, and my dad had, like, a, oh, shoot, like a rattler, I think, maybe at one point. No, maybe something. I think it was a rattler because I was, like, well, in the game, that uses bolts. It doesn't use arrows. Like, it uses bolts, like crossbow bolts. 
And so we were going through the decks, and none of the, like, four, like, um, heroes or whatever that you get for the champions that you can use, which is, like, there's an Osram, Nora, Karja, um, Osram, Nora, Karja, nothing from this game. Uh, I can't remember the fourth one, but, yeah, so they had... They, anyway, you could, apparently, we just decided, we were like, okay, I guess we can just use arrows for it, because we couldn't find bolts anywhere. And I was looking it up online, and they are like, oh, yeah, in, in the car jaw expansion, or no, like, the Ar the Osram, like, Forge and Hammer expansion, you get bolt cards. And I was like, are you serious? Like, in the base, the base game is incomplete, and that's what I dislike, is that sometimes with Kickstarter things, they're like, yeah, here's the base game. But you have to get all the expansions in order to actually, like, you know, experience the game as it's supposed to be experienced. And I'm, it feels, it feels a little predatory, honestly. Um, I was like, this was the most egregious one I've seen where they literally had a bolt casting weapon with no bolt ammo cards. You need to get that in expansion. It doesn't tell you that anyway. I have to look it up. And I was like, really? Like, that's... I mean, I'm going to buy them, or I'm at least going to ask for them for Christmas for these expansions. I really want, like, the Thunderjaw expansion. Plus, so there's, like, four enemies. There's, like, a Thunderjaw. Um, shoot, what is it? There's a Frost Claw. There's, like, a, the one of the bird ones. Uh, like, one of the big... Not, not, this, the, not those ones. Shoot. I don't know if they actually have them in this game. The bigger version of the Glint Hog. I can't remember what it's called. Um... And like a couple others, there's four of them, and it just and it comes with like a couple other things besides just like the mini, you know, um, comes with like new cards and like additional mission stuff. But then you also have like Forge and Hammer, like Warriors of the Sun. There's like four other expansions, or four or five, I think, for like an expansion for like a Karja, like a hero, like another Karja champion, and like more Karja themed like areas and stuff. And there's another Nora one. Um, there's a, I think, who, shoot, there's a couple, of, I can't, I can't quite remember, there's one for bandits, um, but yeah, each one of those comes with, like, new weapons, you know, or cards that will work with the existing base game that the base game doesn't have, anyway, this shouldn't, maybe I'll edit most of this out, <laughs> but this shouldn't be necessarily a review of the board game, someday I'd like to maybe play a, play a game and record it and show you guys, uh, cause I did enjoy it, but, it did, it did feel a little egregious on the, um, on, like, how much they were wanting you to buy. Like, the base game itself, I got it on sale, but I think it's, like, a hundred bucks, and I got it for eighty. So, you know, and the expansions are, like, forty or fifty bucks, like, you know, it's just a lot of money. It's a lot to ask. You okay there? Now she's in the wilds, all alone. Forge knows all the things that could kill her out there. Someone ran off? Never got her name. Kept quiet. Couldn't tell if she was shy or scared. All I know is she didn't want anyone near her things. That's for sure. I was just curious is all. She didn't have to slug me. Your glass jaw ain't the problem, Lugnut. <laughs> the girl is. All alone in the bush? And this is Tanakh territory. Which way did she go? West, up the slope. Look for her if you can. I will. I... Careful now. The girl's maladjusted. Okay, jeez! I'm gonna slug you in your glass jaw. Maybe she just didn't want you near her stuff. Dim wit. I mean, to be fair, punching somebody's a bit of an extreme. But that means she probably has something to hide. And it's not necessarily none of your it's none of your business. Um, also, I hope I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the episode. Dang it! Um, I have I noticed at, in a lot of my last episodes for whatever reason I've been having a bit of an echo problem, like e echoing. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but like to me it seems like there's like a bit of an echo in the mic, um, like a reverberation kind of. Just like it's it sounds like I'm in like a you know glass room or something and things are echoing. Um, so I did put up a few pieces of, like, soundproofing near the microphone, and so I'm hoping that helps, but I can't pin them up quite yet. I don't have the material to do that. Something nearby is sending that signal. Yeah, well, I listen, we're busy. Oh, this is a rumor. 
I hear the Tanakh are fighting each other quite a bit these days. Some of them contain machines. Those you've got to be real careful of. We've seen a whole bunch of them setting up outposts around here. Why are you here? Spotted one just west of here. A few settled at the edge of the desert in the southwest. They even set up camp in the south. Really helps a fellow sleep at night. I get the Osram. Make sure you steer clear of them. Are curious. Same with that other guy, right? Like, they're kind of too curious for their own good in a lot of ways. I'll keep an eye out for them while I'm out here. But, like, I also, I didn't, I, I apparently, I, I think I walked up on their discussion. I should have, like, waited before clicking on them too, I clicked on them too soon and I kind of missed out on some things. Should have known better than oh shoot! It's it's oh there you. I was like looking. I was like trying to find Talana, and then she. I was like looking at this guy, and then she's Talana. right there. Glad to see you made it. Thanks to the secret passage through your base, it was quite a sight. Secret passage. Don't let the others hear you. Yeah, say I was gonna that, say. Or you have a lot of Osiram knocking at your door. And you are? This is Ragard. He's a scout with this caravan. He says Amadis was here. He joined up with our expedition right before we went through the tunnel. After we made camp here, I set out to do some scouting. His voice is amazing. I also made peace offerings to the Tanakh for trespassing in their territory. Amadis wanted me to ask around about some place called... The Rot. What did you find out? Most I learned was that it's where the Tanakh took their prisoners. Somewhere far to the west near Thornmarsh, the Lowland Clan's capital. He set out to find it not long after. Uh, on his own? I tried to warn him, but he was dead set on going. That guy's voice is amazing. <laughs> what happened when you went through the tunnel? Nothing. Our crew split into two groups to pass through. Everyone here was part of the first crossing. Aside from some pitch black passages, it was quiet. Whatever befell the second group spared us. Steel Spark be praised. But you best talk to Porkov about that. He knows a bit more than I do. Did Amada say anything about why he was heading to the Rot? Afraid not. He was a man of few words. Sounds like him. Did he look okay to you? More or less. He seemed shaken when we learned the tunnel had collapsed behind us. But then again, so was everyone around here. This guy seems like legit. Like, this is the kind of guy you want to have in your squad, you know? Very solid, like, <laughs> nothing phases him. So you're a scout for this crew. Anything I should know about the area? Where to start? Down south, we got a trio of Osirum trying to delve into the ruins in the sand. There are more of you? They're the ones we followed out here in the first place. And then there are all the other folk who broke away as soon as we got to this side of the tunnel. Salvagers, explorers, all sorts of daring venturers. Just how many of you were there? Yeah. Enough to lose track, that's for sure. I've also spotted some rebels a while back too. Seems like they've been patrolling the desert. Heard all about the rebellion from the Tanakh up in Scalding Spear. That's the Desert Clan's capital, north of here. Sounds like you've really gotten to know the area. It's what I do. It's what I do. Okay. Thanks, Raggart. This has been helpful. Hope you find him. Thanks, okay. my dude. I'll head for Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hey. Hold on. hey, hey, hey. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh's territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just worried about him. I think it's more than that. Oh. I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. But then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine. I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. Why can't we travel together? She just She sees me and then she runs. I feel so abandoned. I feel abandoned. <laughs> Maybe if we go up and over. Oops. I mean, you guys don't. If you're just going forward, then you don't need to be held up, you know. Yeah, you. How about more west? <laughs> that might. Heat's getting to you. Everywhere you look, more blasted mountains. 
What, do you guys come from like a plane or something? Are you lost? Spark to steal. Aren't you a jewel in a junkie? Aww. Excuse me? <laughs> Hold the hammer. I know you. You're that Nora. <laughs> the savior. My savior. Right in the nick of I time. love the way they're and animated. Poor Guff Delvesman, chief delver and leader of Poor Guff's expeditioners and purveyors of fine delve. Oh my gosh. What am I saving you from, exactly? Death and despair, my steel flame friend. See, this grand expedition here has had a, a minor setback. Not far from here, there's a secret tunnel. A passage of the old ones, lost and then found. Me and half the crew came through first. The other half was supposed to follow right after. But days later, only one man turned up, shivering like a frog in chill water. Only thing we got out of him was that death and darkness chased them as the tunnel collapsed. Died with his eyes wide, he did. I've been to the tunnel's eastern side. The way was blocked by rubble. There was also a body, one of your delvers, I guess, but no sign of the rest yeah, of the Yeah, the squad was supposed Keep to be that big. Down, will you? The rest of the crew's already spooked. That's a good point. They're refusing to press on with the delve until they're assured a way out of okay, it. Okay, that makes sense. You lost half your crew and you're worried about the delve. We gotta make their sacrifice worth something, right? And besides, now that you're here, Maybe our sand stranded days are You old. guys are explosive well, experts. Tunnel reopened, and I'll cut you in on the Delvers fee. What do you say? Why don't you just go blow it up? <laughs> Yourself. Now, why, why do I gotta get involved? How did you learn about this secret tunnel? The art of the Delve, of course. Mm. A Delver's only as good as his no sense for good sights. All right, fine. I heard about three Osram who knew a way to bypass those bloodthirsty Tanakh. Tap the untouched delves of the West. I'm gonna so scream. So I may have employed someone with the know-how for finding and following. A spy. Look, if the rumors are true, there's enough delving to employ a dozen It's not operations. your stuff! If someone has to take the first plunge, establish a base camp, set up a reliable supply route, guard the site against machines. Yeah, they're right the there. Osram would turn sand into shards, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, for what this is this is inferior. The Osram do kind of infuriate me. For one thing, they just go into these ancient sites and dig them up for their materials. They have no concept of like the history. They're melting down into slag, you know, or selling off. It's so infuriating. And also, this is Tanakh land. You need to have permission. You can't just go into somebody else's land. And dig up their stuff. Even if it technically is like old one stuff. It's not like directly necessarily related to the Tanakh. But like it is. You know. But it's not like ancient Tanakh sites necessarily. It's ancient, ancient old one sites. But like. Oh it's still on their land. And they are. They are not ridiculous. They are. They are. It's not ridiculous. I was going to say. They are like enraged. <laughs> like they are. They are. I guess ridiculous you could say. Like they're like they're they're just wild when it comes to like their own stuff. Like of all people, go digging around in Tanakh ruins when they're the ones who will like bury you up to your neck in sand and leave you out there. You know what I mean? Like, and we didn't even have any problems with this in the Nora area. Like as far as I can tell, we didn't have Ostrom coming in because the Nora would kill people if they tried to come in. You know. And the Tanakh do the same thing, but the Osram are like, ah, oh, it's fine. It's just a little bit, it's a little much. Like, I get it. Like, it would happen. I'm not saying it shouldn't be in the game. It's just a little infuriating for me personally <laughs> to be like, duh, for like two reasons. Like, you know, like don't dig up history and melt it or sell it, you know, and don't freaking go on other people's lands and dig it up, especially when they're very murderous. <laughs> it's just, ah. That guy, did you, I also thought Eli was gonna stab this guy. He's like, "Well, aren't you a jewel in a trash, like a like a gem in a trash heap or something?" I was like, "My dude, I'm probably like half your age." <laughs> oh, that was funny, but I'm also infuriated about the the digging thing. What do you know about this area? Well, north of here, you got those vicious Tanakh. I heard rumor they drink blood instead of water. Oh, please. That's how they survive this wasteland. Yeah. In south, it has it all. Death. Desert and the delve. Imagine, if you will, a vast grave of the old. I'm gonna ones. be ruins of twisted metal concealed by the. Sand. I'm gonna lose it. All guarded by machines, so fierce that you'll wish you had a flock of glint hawks swooping down on you instead. No, I probably wouldn't. Not I'd rather face a thunderjaw. The ruins depths, 
Only the bravest explorers dare enter. That's where I'm going next. Like yourself. Of course. Eventually. Eventually. I'm gonna... Why would I help you, man? You're just gonna go around freaking digging into stuff that's not yours. And, uh, the historical implications. <laughs> so this camp, it's your base of operations? What operations? The plan was to move further south once the rest of the expedition joined us. The delve is right out beyond those dunes. But now the crew refuses to budge until this tunnel mess gets sorted it's out. It's stupid to Think go out. this place a name? Camp Nowhere. I think they're mocking me. Yeah, I think they are. <laughs> Why would you go further on if your supply lines and exit routes are compromised? Like, it's just a militarily, logistically unsound decision. I'll see what I can do about the time. No, I'm not. <laughs> My I'm actually not. For the crew trapped here with you, not your delve. One and the same. That it? Over there? That it is. Oh, and while you're at it, would you mind keeping an eye out for my lockbox? Did I already get- The second get... crew was supposed to bring the rest of the supplies and belongings. I'd hate to lose it to the wilds. It was hand-carved by my dear old ma. I'll bring it back if I find it. You want me to carry a whole- it. Good luck, Still Flame. Are you want me to carry a whole lockbox out here? Absolutely not. Apparently you're not the only one around here. What should have known better than to take a job from Porgoth. Somebody else had a name. How goes it, Hammerhead? Some Tanakh killed an outpost. Shot. Go there. Oh, I did see. I did see. Hang on, where? Not, not that. There was. I swear, I saw like a merchant type guy. Maybe I was hallucinating. Happy hunting to you, Red. Red. That's good. That's good. I can do that. I can handle that. Steel flame is kind of funny. Finally. What? Someone's in a rush. I get. Uh, oh, I could use your insights later on. Uh, Ignoring me again. <laughs> Their conversations are distracting, but they're funny. Anyway, I'm gonna call it here. No idea how long this episode is. I apologize if we we haven't done much. I've been very distracted and I've talked a lot. I'm not doing this one. Man, I don't want to help the Osterum get get around. And I'm not telling them about my secret base. Freaking Talana's over here like, Thanks for letting me use your secret passage. I'm like, shh. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not so secret anymore. Anyway. Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed my sort of haphazard episode here. Uh, I guess we're going to go. We're going to try to help Talana. Yes, we're going to try to keep going with Talana. So, thank you all again for joining me. I appreciate it, and I hope... Oh, wait, I almost... Okay, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, which I need to check that. <laughs> I'm give you guys an update. My bad. But I want to say thank you to all my patrons, to uh, all of them, but especially uh, Reese Galito, my sapling chair patron. Thank you so much for your support. And I also want to give a big shout-out to my tree tier patrons, uh, Christopher... Thank you so much for your support. I super duper appreciate it. And you're the greatest. Uh, and I want to give another shout out to my other tree tier patron, Adam, who is also the super greatest. And I really appreciate you guys' support a lot. I'm, I'm eyeing a better Elgato to record these videos with. Um, and I will only be able to get that uh, because of Patreon and Twitch. So I appreciate that. Not that I, didn't, I haven't done Twitch in ages, honestly. Uh, really. But, you know, I still have people who support me on there, too, and I really appreciate it. So thank you all again, and I will see you in the next one.